We're here at the 2024 New York Auto Show, and this is the facelifted Hyundai Tucson. So they've made some changes up front. It's very much in keeping with the um, original version, well not the original version, the original version of this generation, in as much as the upper headlight section blends into the grill and the split headlights the main and the high beams are actually hidden there with the vents well with the intakes this very green offering um, I believe is an XRT model which is Hyundai's new I guess wildernessy style off-road sub-brand in here in the US so you have these slightly chunkier wheels more off-road off aesthetic nothing much has changed in the back still get the same type of lighting signatures big change here in the interior with a new dashboard so in the old car you had um, a center section uh, which is piano black plastic before the large infotainment system and the climate controls. The old climate control setup was capacitive and didn't win many friends. Now you have a display here um, with controls, touchscreen controls, but also, thankfully, knobs and buttons that you can use. So that's a big plus. So instead, they've redesigned most of the dashboard and you have the slab of plastic housing the instrumentation display and the infotainment display all under the same uh, visual mass. There's a steering wheel without the Hyundai logo, just the four dots in the uh, metal center. Now you have this tray area, which is, I wouldn't say this is rubberized, but it's a, I guess it's a grippier type of plastic to the rest of it. Um, lots of hard plastic, which is just the Hyundai thing, I keep on saying it. It's high quality, but hard, so um, if you have a hankering for early 2000s Volkswagens, this is not the place for you. Um, you have a charging pad, wireless smartphone charging pad here with USB-C ports, uh, buttons here for uh, hill descent control, locking the all-wheel drive, uh, parking cameras and the electronic parking brake. You have a storage bin in there. You do have a traditional shifter, a transmission shifter, with an old T-bar style arrangement instead of the protuberance that kind of sticks out on a lot of newer Hyundai models. So those are the changes. Let's have a look at the, some of the things that really haven't changed that much. So these are the seats. I'll set this the seating position up for myself. No, I cannot because it's not powered. It's relatively comfortable. It's probably a little bit further back than I would like, but looks to be a lot of interior room at the back for me. The Got lots of leg room and knee space. It's padded here. There's rear seat vents and USB C ports. It's kind of dark and gloomy in this trim. Very much a sea of plastic. Now, the backrest can go to different angles. You can see that one over on the far side is uh, tilted forward a little bit. We can open the tailgate, which we cannot. Okay. Let's have a look and see. So 
uh, lift you lift this little lever there to fold the seats down it is very nice and flat there's a slight half inch gap here but it's pretty flat not entirely flat but pretty flat and there's a lot of boot space right there let's put this back up And there you go. That is our look at the facelifted Hyundai Tucson.